What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here and welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. Today we're going to talk about Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One when it comes to sales. You guys might be surprised exactly how close these three are. I know I am and I'm happy to share it with you. I'll drop a link in the description. Nintendo Switch sales versus Sony PS4 and Microsoft's Xbox One makes the console war even closer. Nintendo Switch sales suggests the console will definitely do better than the Wii U and possibly rival PS4 and Xbox One in the long run too. Damn, that's a shock. Nintendo Switch opening sales figures have trickled in the past week and looked incredibly positive as Nintendo's new console got off to a markedly stronger start than its maligned predecessor, the Wii U. In the opening weekend between March 3rd and March 5th, the Nintendo Switch sold around 80,000 units in the UK, that's according to GI.biz. This is double the number of systems that the Wii U reportedly sold for the first weekend in 2012. As a result of the strong start, Nintendo will be confident that the Switch can surpass the 13.5 million units the Wii U has so far shipped in its lifetime. But while that statement is no doubt a great starting point, it's the contrast of sales figures against the PS4 and Xbox One which will give Nintendo even greater reasons to be pleased with their launch. In the UK at least, Nintendo is well below the 150,000 units Microsoft sold during the Xbox One opening weekend and the 250,000 sold by Sony for the PlayStation. But the wider picture is that across the globe, there have been multiple instances of the Switch selling well above the first week sales of both Xbox One and PS4 consoles. In Japan, the Switch sold 331,000 in its first week, 9,000 more than the PS4 sold in its opening week. In France, 105,000 Switch units were sold during the opening weekend, a record for the country where Switch sold more in the first three days than the PS4 did in its first two weeks. Likewise in Spain, Nintendo sold through 44,673 units of Switch during its first weekend on sale, beating the 38,000 record set by PS4 in 2013. Over in America, Nintendo has said that its new Switch console has sold more in its first two days than any other machine in the platform holder's history. What does this mean? Well, potentially we could have a credible console challenger to both the PS4 and the Xbox One. Should Nintendo manage to lure enough third-party support, which was clearly a major issue for the Wii U, it could take a serious dent out of both the PS4 and the Xbox One. Likewise, it will be interesting to see just how the console performs later this year when bolstered with an expanded catalog of games thanks to the releases of games like Mario Kart Deluxe, Splatoon 2, and Mario Odyssey. It'll also be especially intriguing to see how any potential price cuts to the console in the lead up to Christmas could impact on the prospective launch of Microsoft's Xbox Scorpio console. Only time will tell, but clearly the battle of console dominance is no longer a two-horse race. Exciting news, wow, I did not know this. The Nintendo Switch is selling phenomenally well. I I've heard, you know, in the news that it's outselling the, the Wii, which is crazy for its first week, uh, and that's just phenomenal. But to hear that they've outsold the PlayStation, which is a juggernaut in so many places, means that people are actually looking for this thing. My birthday was over the weekend, and my sister was over here. And we were playing games in my studio, and then we all went into the living room, and she asked what that contraption was in front of my TV. And I told her it was a Nintendo Switch. And she said, oh, is Donkey Kong on? I said, not yet. <laughs> and so I picked it up, and I turned it on, and she saw The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. She's like, oh, that looks really good. That's pretty awesome. I've never seen a game look like this that you can carry around. I said, yeah, it's pretty intense. It's one of the best games out right now. Then I said, check this out. And I pulled the kickstand out and I pulled the Joy-Cons off and I put the Joy-Cons on the little controller dock. It was sitting in front of my TV on this little kickstand and she was like, wow, you can play it like that too. Just put it somewhere and you got a controller in your hand. I said, yeah, it's pretty incredible, right? She's like, yeah, it's awesome. And then I took the controllers apart, put it back on the Nintendo Switch, and then I slid it into the docking station and it popped up on the TV. And she looked at my brother, she's married to my brother, and she said, we gotta get one of these. So, the the portability of it, the functionality of it, the different ways you can play is very intriguing to people. Extremely intriguing. And I think if Nintendo's able to supply the demand, they could definitely be a contender to do some serious damage to PlayStation and Xbox. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think it's possible that Nintendo could take a big chunk out of Microsoft and Sony this year. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up to show support and help my channel. Join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter. You can share your videos and support the channel at BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.